Welcome to Tester Scale Workshop. I'm Brett Green, and as you've been able to see, they're expecting a great deal of excitement here with paramedics in attendance at the Melbourne Model Expo 2010. The home for the Melbourne Model Expo over the last few years has been Sandown Racecourse, which hosts both horses and cars that you might be able to hear in the background at the moment. But let's go in and see what's happening on the plastic front. Oh, it's winter in this part of the world. It's pretty cold out there, by Australian standards anyway, although it's nice and warm in here. And it's a hive of activity too. We have traders who are lining the walls of the big exhibition centre here at Sandown, uh, as well as club displays. We've got a big competition over here as well, probably the biggest in Australia, uh, as well as food for the hungry at the end. I'm here with René de Koenig, who is the director for, uh, for Model Expo 2010, just taking a break, but still uh, with his Model Expo merchandising in hand as well, which is nice to see. Uh, looks like a good crowd in today, René. Uh, it's been excellent. Uh, again, I, although we haven't uh, achieved a record, we're still over the 600 models, so the turnout's been fantastic, and the displays and traders, yeah, it's another huge show. Yeah, I, uh, the model uh, displays are, are very impressive indeed. One of the things I love about Model Expo is the fact that it's not only models in competition, but it's also models on display. Can you tell us about some of the clubs that are here? Uh, this year we have uh, clubs from South Australia. Uh, we have also have the West Australian boys have come across as a large contingent, as well as all the local uh, Melbourne clubs. Uh, we also have another guy from South Australia with his uh, um, North African display. So. There's a huge variety of material on display here today and the clubs, have, as usual, have done a, a, you know, a wonderful effort to put it all together. The traders area looks pretty busy as well. Uh, anyone new here this year? Again, with this year we've got the, uh, our reliable traders, I would say, I call them, uh, the old hands, plus we've got a number of new ones which we've managed to attract this year. Uh, Eureka Miniatures is probably one of our most significant, um, as well as... Uh, Oh, let me think. <laughs> You've caught me a bit on the hop here. <laughs> um, but it, it is great to see such a, a busy show again uh, this year. Uh, well, Ray, we'd better let you get back to your coffee break, I suppose. But congratulations on another great show. And uh, we'll look forward to, uh, to hearing how it goes. All right. Thanks, Brett. And, yeah, cup of tea. It always comes down good at the end of a long day. So, <laughs> yeah. all right. Thanks, okay. thanks Ray. Bye. One of the big surprises here today was a brand new model company, Showcase Models Australia. And I'm here with John Zicolatis, who can tell us a little bit about their debut offering. Uh, thanks, Brett. Uh, this is a first uh, release for uh, Showcase Models Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been in the making for the last one and a half years. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's an Australian subject, the Bushmaster, which is a one of my favourites and I think it's quite a unique subject for Australian military hardware as it's probably I think from memory uh, one of the first um, designed vehicles in the Australian uh, Defence Force. That's right and it's very uh, relevant these days as well being in service, in active service uh, in the, the Gulf uh, yeah. and elsewhere as well. Yes, and uh, it's uh, had quite a few sales with the uh, Netherlands, uh, I think they bought close to 300 from memory, uh, UK bought some as well. Uh, and this will be a 135th scale full injection moulded plastic kit? Yeah, that's right, Brett. Uh, the kit will be injection moulded with rubber tyres. Uh, the kit will have approximately 150 parts. The uh, decal sheet will be printed by Cartagriff in uh, Italy. Including some of that nice uh, geometric camouflage for the spare wheel cover? Yeah, that's right, and even camouflage for the seats, so hopefully save the model as a bit of a heartache in painting them. Right, yeah. So, yeah. So. Well, that's very exciting news, John, and it'll be fantastic to have uh, a, a Bushmaster to put alongside our uh, Aslev 25 models now, too. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's, uh, the new trumpeter kits uh, will go well with it, being able to do uh, a lot of uh, dioramas for the modelers, yeah. Right, well, we'll very much look forward to seeing uh, seeing the model in uh, in a box very very soon. Yeah.
uh, hopefully September, October will be the release. Great news. Thanks very much, John. No worries. Thanks. Thanks. Max Shaw is here and he's representing today not only JB wholesalers but also scale modelers of Western Australia. Uh, Max, welcome to Melbourne. Long drive for you? A little bit, yes. We've been up to Sydney and come back down to there. So it's been quite a trip. About nine days uh, so far and there's nine of us done the trip. So it's been a bit interesting. Yes, for those who are not familiar with Australian geography, you don't get much further away than, uh, than Perth to, uh, to Melbourne, do you? No, you don't. Particularly via Sydney. Yes. Uh, yep. Max, can you tell us who uh, JB Wholesale is actually uh, handling at the moment? JB Wholesalers is the main uh, contractors for uh, Trumpeter, Heller, um, Mobius, uh, Platts, AFE Club. Uh, we also handle um, Limburg Hawk. Um, oh, who else is in there? Uh, Mini Art. Yeah, it's Vesda as well. Vesda. Squadron, yep. all the squadron products we yep. do. Um, there's some interesting stuff on the table here I see as well from uh, from Trumpeter in particular. We have, uh, if I may... Go for it. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, the new, or forthcoming, 109F. Yep. This is um, this is actually brought back from Germany. This is their test shots. Um, when you first see it, it's a lot of, bit rough and ready, but this is all taken from original test shots. They sent... Brought, we brought this back from Germany, um, as along with a number of the sprues of the other variants that are going to come out. Yeah, so it looks uh, like there's everything from the uh, the F right through to the K in uh, in those that's sprues. The that's the plan. Um, they're doing this is the F4 Tropical. R they're going right through. It's even got the little pieces for putting the umbrellas on and all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. So that's um, quite good. Um, time will tell. Uh, we hope it's going to be as good a product as the 109E has been for us in the sense of price and value, mm -hmm. so uh, it should work out quite well. And uh, there's a monster kit here from Platts, I see, that's the RQ4B uh, Global Hawk. When yep. I first saw this kit in the box, I thought that it must have been mislabeled as a, a 48 scale kit because it was so big, but this is actually 70 second scale, isn't it? It is actually 70 second scale. We did the same thing, took it out of the box and went, ah, something's wrong here. <laughs> but in actual fact, no, it's, 40, it's 70 second scale. It's just a big, big aeroplane. Um, not that many parts to it. It's probably about 50 odd parts, but it builds up very well, very easily. Nice model. Uh, due it out to us probably in the next uh, two months. Uh, we should get it through. Uh, Platts is one of those companies that produces a lot of Star Wars stuff and, and then occasionally does other bits and pieces so we get what we can when we can because Star Wars is very expensive for licenses. Mm -hmm. So we have to work on that. But yes, it's uh, quite something. It's been another enjoyable roller coaster ride at the Melbourne Model Expo 2010. We've actually taken a bit of a break here on Sunday morning and we're at, at St Kilda. Uh, directly behind me is Luna Park. It's a real Melbourne institution with a, an old style wooden roller coaster and a whole bunch of other amusements. Also, St Kilda Markets here, Bayside, is, uh, is well worth a look on a Sunday morning too. But at the Model Expo, we've really had it all. We've had a brand new model company that's emerged, had a look at a, a prototype of the new product. We've seen some new and forthcoming releases from Trumpeter and other mainstream manufacturers and some wonderful models in competition and on display. So we'll look forward to seeing what happens next year at the Melbourne Model Expo 2011. From Test to Sale Workshop, this is Brett Green signing off. Bye for now.